you, we can't afford the hospitals right now. We can't afford traditional medical care. And in the developing world, there just simply aren't enough doctors. Does all this stuff come to your house? Does your house monitor you? I, I, I just way, be, way past that. I mean, why would you let, bother letting your house, you know, your house monitor you? Right. I mean, you, you probably want the milkshake you drink in the morning to monitor you. Okay. Right. I mean, and and uh, you know, a, a lot of times people tend to think about this as being like there's going to be a universe in which the haves and the haves nots. You know, the haves have all this great medical technology, and the have nots don't. But again, you take Moore's law and you just look at how people are in, are investing in building, continuing to drive forward in the um, in way faster, uh, way better tech. You know. Uh, computing. Um, it's entirely, uh, it, this gets to sort of like, who's in charge? Are, are people trying to centralize or decentralize? Um, is there, can you take, you know, centralized technology and decentralize it? And, you know, uh, and, and are the price points low enough that um, one, one of the interest, you know. I mean, we are, we, you, you go in the emergency room and they take your x-ray. Yeah. Chances are that x-ray is not going to be read by a technician at that hospital. It's going to be read by a technician in Bangalore or someplace else in the world. So isn't that decentralization? Well, it's probably, going to, be, it's already probably going to be, be read by an algorithm okay. first. Yeah. First, yes. And I, again, I actually, I mean, I think, you know, I get, we're, we get to talk decades. We get to talk, you know, sure. science fiction or fantasy. Um, I don't, you know, that, that's a centralized model. You go get an x-ray. We drink a milkshake. Yeah. Right. You drink the milkshake and then, and then you know, a couple Swallow. of clock cycles later, it goes ka-ching, you've, you know, you just got a hernia getting out of the shower. Yeah. Right there, you're done. And probably no human ever saw it because it's going to be faster and better. You know, you can audit, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe what you get. I mean, if you want to look at precious resources and what rich people can buy that poor people can't. From a systems perspective, it's way better if you can get everybody in a place where all you have to do to find out what's wrong with you and make yourself better is drink a milkshake, right? That's a better world. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not one that's better if it's reserved to only people who are making you know, six-figure fig incomes. Actually, from a systemic perspective, you know, the faster you can get the people on the bottom right. up, right. the better. Now it's Metcalf's law. Get yeah. as many people into the network Absolutely. as you can, so and it gains value. Th then, then you say, actually, what you probably pay for is a highly educated, extremely erudite, pleasant, nice to be around doctor who visits you in your home, who's a human, right? That's really okay. expensive. All that med school, everything else, that's a non-scalar cost. So right. if you're rich, that's your med medical care. Doesn't actually mean you're any healthier, right. but you feel you better, feel about, better it. about it.